Hi, my name is Dr. Lauren Custine and welcome to my video blogs. So we just talked about in the last segment what the inner critic actually is. In this segment, I want to talk briefly about some of the tools that you can utilize to help you deal with this horrible inner critic that you're dealing with. So, you know, one of the first things that we need to do is notice that it's even happening. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, just recognize that you probably have an inner critic. I mean, we all do. And there is these voices that are going to be telling you you're not good enough and all of these other things that are going to create feelings of shame and low self-worth and things like that. So how do you notice those? Well, you know, you're in your mind all day. I'm sure you're thinking all the time. Take some time when you're doing something sort of meditative, whether it's exercise or meditation itself or walking or spending time in nature and just sit there and try to see what your mind is doing to you. This is a very important concept. We're finding through studies that mindfulness exercises help us become more aware of what our mind is telling us and doing to us on a daily basis. Once you recognize that there's some voices inside of you that are saying, you're stupid, you're not good enough, you're not skinny enough, you're not smart enough, whatever it's doing, whatever voice it is, recognize the source of that voice. Try to figure out where that comes from. Is that something that one of your parents told you? Is that something that you got on the playground? Is it something that, you know, you just feeling different in the world that you started thinking like these thoughts about yourself that you're not good enough? So once you recognize the source, that's going to be very helpful to stop it when it starts. Now, the second piece is you're going to start hearing it more. And when you do hear it, you stop. Now you're just going to notice that. The point here is that we can't entirely get rid of the inner critic, actually. We found that that's not entirely possible. It is, it is possible to lessen its impact. But what really is helpful is if you just notice it. And you say, okay, there you are. You can tell it to shut up. You can sit there and say, I'm not going to listen to you. You can do some thought stopping. One of the exercises that I work with my clients with is I have them use a rubber band. And every time they hear the voice saying, you know, you're not good enough or you're stupid or whatever, they snap the band. That helps create that awareness around those thoughts. Now you're just going to watch them. You're going to watch them float by and you're not going to engage with them. You're going to start recognizing that they're not telling you the truth. They actually are telling you lies and it's something that's going to make you feel bad about yourself. So that's the third part. The, th the, the last piece is to think of compassionate thoughts about yourself. What would you tell a friend or someone that you love if they were beating themselves, themselves up? So think about it. When you start really hearing what those voices say, is this how you would talk to somebody that you love? No, we are so hard on ourselves. So stop listen and start replacing it with thoughts of like, actually, I am a good person. I really do love people or I really do try to do good things in the world or start replacing it with the positive things that you are doing in your life to stop that inner critic from having so much power. And remember, you are your best friend. So how would you talk to somebody that you love if they were berating themselves all day? And this gets much easier over time with practice. Thank you.